I told you I will if this doesn't work out. There's still a couple of months before they close applications. No, I don't know that yet. Mom, will you please speak English? I'm not a sales clerk. I don't know what you should tell him. Just tell him that I'm going to be here a while longer. I'm not ready for that yet. I have to go, Mom. I have to go. I'll call you later. Love you. Uh -huh. Bye. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, that's all right. I just love Blake Backlash, don't you? Uh, he's something all right. Oh, he's so masculine and, and so handsome and, well, <laughs> sexy. It just about took my breath away when he seduced that female sidekick of his. What is her name? Fujitsu. That's right, Fuji, he called her. You have read the book. That'll be twenty-four fifty. She just melted, didn't she? Fuji, I mean. They just don't make men like that anymore. You would think so, wouldn't you? Is it true that the author owns this bookstore? That's what they tell me. Uh, of course, he must be awfully busy. Say, is there a good time when uh, I might stop by, you know, if I wanted to get a look at him? I wouldn't if I were you. He's awfully shy. It's his face. There was an accident. Oh. A terrible accident. Oh. Thank you. Gracie, something's come up. I'm on a new case. Too bad you're not here to help, but Gerda can handle any research I need. I know I have a lot to decide, but that and the new book are going to have to wait. I have a feeling this is important. Gerda. <laughs> I don't think so. I need to see Gabriel, please. I'm sorry, her knight's not here. He's n Great. You must be Grace. I think we spoke on the phone. Uh-huh. When is Gabriel due back? I don't know. He's gone for some time. Uh, maybe you would like to stay at the castle and wait for him? I don't have much choice, do I? Ich habe nicht gewusst, dass einer hier ist. Ich bin hier für die Kamina fertig machen. Ja, yeah, it's okay. Fangen Sie ruhig an. Can I help you? Oh, no, thank you. He doesn't need my help. Nice view of the Alps.
Nice closet. Nice closet. Ritter ancestors, I assume. Like the lion on the Ritter talisman. Interesting. Ritter ancestors, I assume. Pretty comfortable, even if he slept in it. Gerda? Yes? Where is Gabriel? I don't know exactly. Surely he said something when he left. You must have been here when his new case came up. I was here. What was it about? Was it around here? All I know is that he was going somewhere near Munich. I honestly do not know where he is staying. You must know something about Gabriel's new case. It is not my business to talk or not to talk about it. Gabriel took the case for someone else. Really? Who? Werner Huber. He runs the Gasthof in town. So, how do you like working with Gabriel? It is fine. Uh-huh. Do you get along with him okay? He is the Ritter heir. What are you working on? Plans for the castle. Oh, what are you having done? Uh, lights, phones, plumbing, all new. It should have been done many years ago, but there was no money. Also, things need to be fixed. The stones. The castle is very old. Everything it, needs work. Is Gabriel planning to live here permanently then? Why not? It is his castle now. I thought he might, you know, sell it. Sell it? He would not do that. The castle belongs to the Ritters. Gabriel mentioned in his letter that well, normally I do research for him. It's more or less my field, and if there's anything he needs to get done, I'd be happy to take care of it. He did ask me to check some things for him, but I couldn't let someone else do the work. I understand, really. But if Gabriel knew that I was already here, see, that I was around, he'd want me to do it. I'm sorry. If I do hear from him, I'll ask him what he would prefer. Until then, I must do the work he asks me to do. I'm curious. I mean, I was just wondering. What was it Gabriel asked you to research? Just some things. Some things about? He asked me to check the Schattenjäger library for any record of other cases about uh, any other cases like this one. Gabriel asked you to find other cases like this one? Well, that shouldn't be too tough. For you, I mean. So, what was this new case about again? I cannot discuss the case with you. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. Why don't you go look around the area? I'm sure you could find something to do. Gee, thanks. 
Gerda, there's a locked door in Gabriel's bedroom. Do you know where it goes? It goes to the Schattenjäger library. That's where all the Schattenjäger records are kept? Yes. Why is the door locked? Gabriel doesn't want the workmen in there. Oh. Can I get the key? No. The library is for Schattenjägers only. Well, thanks. All right. Ritter ancestors, I assume. King of beasts. That about sums it up. I can just imagine the cozy nights spent by the fire in this room. I don't have anything to say to her right now. I thought Gabriel said this place was stripped. Guess Gerda's been busy shopping with the new Ritter fortune. I thought Gabriel said this place was stripped. Guess Gerda's been busy shopping with the new Ritter fortune. Schloss Ritter, birthplace of Gabriel's genetic code. Grace Nakamura. That must be Gabriel's car. I wonder where the keys are. My notebook. My notebook. Gracie, something's come up. I'm on a new case. Too bad you're not here to help, but Gerda can handle any research I need. I'll call her right as soon as I can. In the meantime, go ahead and fix up the shop a little if you want. You know, flowers and stuff, but don't go overboard. I kind of like the old place as is. I know I have a lot to decide, but that and the new book are going to have to wait. I have a feeling this is important. Tell Gran I send my love. Gabriel. My wallet. I converted some cash to marks at the airport. My wallet. Bert Barkley knows more about history than I ever will, especially at this rate. Yes? Do you have the keys to the car outside? That is Gabriel's car. He doesn't even let me drive it. I had a feeling you'd say that. Well, thanks. All right. Gerda's been a real pig about those car keys.
St. Georg Church. Hello. Guten Tag. I don't want to disturb her. Martin Ritter, 1190-1253 These coffins are really old, and they're all shot in Jaegers. Wolfgang Ritter 10 May 1923 to 25 June 1993. Martin Ritter, 1190 to Schottenjägers. These coffins are really old. He doesn't speak English, and I can't communicate well enough in German. Hallo, meine Dame. Kann ich Ihnen behilflich sein? Ah, hallo, wie geht es Ihnen? Gut, danke. Und Ihnen? Gut. Ich bin hier auf Hörlaub und... Uh, Let's try English, shall we? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've been studying German at home and I thought I knew a lot, but it's so different now that I'm actually here. Books alone are poor language teachers. You'll pick it up. Is there something I can help you with? My name is Grace Nakamura. I'm staying at Schloss Ritter, and you are... You may call me Herr Habermas. Welcome to Rittersberg, Miss Nakamura. It's nice to meet you, Herr Habermas. What can you tell me about Rittersburg? 
It is a very old town. The walls around it were built in 1438, but the city is a few centuries older than that. Have there always been Ritters in Rittersburg? Yes, Martin Ritter built the castle in 1223, and the town grew up around it. I'm proud to say we still have Ritter blood here to this day. What is this building? This is the Rathaus. The town hall? Oh, thank you. Thanks for your time. Certainly. Good day. It's locked. So this is where I've been sending Gabriel's fan mail. There's no one there. I don't want to disturb him. Guten Tag. Sind Sie Werner Huber? Yes. Oh. You are an American, eh? Guess I haven't quite got the accent down, huh? <laughs> I'm a friend of Gabriel Knight. I'm staying at the castle. Good. You're the proprietor of this Gastoff? Yes. It's very nice. Do you mainly serve food and drinks here? Oh, we have guest rooms upstairs, too, yeah. Oh? Does Rittersburg get a lot of tourists? Some, not so many know about this place. It is perhaps better that way. Germans on holiday come here. Foreigners find their way here one way or another. You speak English very well. Yes. How did you learn it? Wolfgang taught some of us. He thought we should know. Really? Why? It is a very good question, is it not? Hmm. hmm. I never got to meet Gabriel's great uncle. What was he like? Oh. He was a true Schattenjäger, like in the old days. He knew things. What kinds of things? Things. He, he had, how do you say it, uh, the sight. He was a very good man to go to when you needed advice. It must have been hard for the town when Wolfgang died. Yeah, it was bad, yes. But not a surprise. Cared on you. It was harder on her than the rest of us. Really? Were she and Wolfgang close? You said Wolfgang was a true Schattenjäger. I suppose Gabriel... I mean, he's probably not what you expected. Oh, oh we shall see with that one. Yeah. One cannot know the quality of the iron until it has been in the fire, eh? We shall see.
Tell me about Riddersburg. It is a small town, private. We keep our business to ourselves. You mean about the Schattenjägers? Oh, the Schattenjägers, sure. The Schattenjägers are of this place, and this place is of them. Uh -huh. We believe in the old ways here. It has not changed much over the centuries. We still remember what the rest of the world has forgotten. And that is? That life is a battle between the light and the dark. Do you know this? I think I mentioned that I was a friend of Gabriel Knight. Yes. Well, I came to help him on a case, a Schattenjäger case. That's just good. Well, we got our wires crossed and he'd already left by the time I got here. But Gerda mentioned that he was on a case for you. No, 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 not for me, for my cousin, Sepp. Lots of cousins around here. Uh, is Sepp in town? No, no, he and his wife went north for a few weeks. We does not live in Rittersberg anyway. Oh. Well, perhaps you can help me then. How do you mean? Gerd is not sure where Gabriel is exactly, but you know where I can find him, don't you? It is not my business to tell people where to find the Schattenjäger. It is maybe not so safe, you see. Yes, I do see, and I appreciate your caution, really. But we worked together on his last case, and believe me, you'd be doing him a favor. Hmm. If he wants you to help him, he will have to contact you at the castle and tell you where he is himself. Great. Do you know how long Gabriel will be gone? If he is a good Schattenjäger, he will not come back until he has done what must be done. If he is not, who can say? Maybe he will not come back at all. What must be done? Can you tell me what Gabriel's case is about? What? Not specifically, of course, but in general. On our last case, we had to deal with a voodoo cult. I was just thinking, if I just knew what he was up against, maybe I could do some research. Well... He left so quickly, I guess, he didn't have time to investigate here at all. And the Schottenjäger archives might have something pertinent in them. If I knew what to look for, that is. Yes, that is true. There is much to be learned from the Schottenjäger past. Exactly. Gabriel is new at this, you know? And Wolfgang's not around to give him advice. All right, young lady. I will tell you what it is you need to look for. Yes? Werewolf. Werewolf? Werewolf. Gabriel's new case involves werewolves? Ah, you don't believe in such things. I don't know. It's a little outside. If you truly want to be an aide to a Schattenjäger, you will have to believe in such things. Things that are outside. If you cannot... All right, a werewolf. What do you know about them? Werewolves, that is. Some things. This is not the first time that Rittersburg has seen the work of a werewolf, or even a werewolf itself. Really? Hmm. Oh, no, not in my lifetime, you understand. But I was told of it when I was a boy. One was brought to town. It had killed many people. The Schattenjäger caught him. He was tried here. When was this? Seventeen mm, hundreds, I think, somewhere around in there. Hmm. 
Thanks. Bitte. Hello again. Did you need something else? Do you keep old town records here? Criminal trial records? Yes, we have files going back to the 12th century. Great. Werner Hoover told me about a local trial that supposedly involved a werewolf. I'd like to learn more about it. What was the date? Sometime in the 1700s. I'm afraid I would need a more specific time frame. We have many, many files. Yes, of course. Thanks for your time. Certainly. Good day. I don't want to disturb her. Jürgen Ritter, 1403 to 1461. Wolfgang Ritter, 10 May 1923 to 25 June 1993. Martin Ritter, 1190 to 1253. These coffins are really It's no use. He doesn't I don't have anything to say to her right now. I don't think I need that. I don't think I need that. I don't think I need that.
Someone's been using this passageway. How convenient. When the Lord of the Manor is slipping through the passageway to his amorous adventures, he can pick up a few flowers. How convenient. The castle looks huge from here. They've got more rooms left to restore than I thought. The castle looks... The castle looks huge from here. Let me guess. Gerda's bedroom. What a surprise. That must be Wolfgang. Something to remember him by, I guess. That must be... I can't go out that way. I don't want Gerda to know I'm in here.
Get his clothes. Isn't she just as cute as a button? Biographies. Looks like they're mostly about Germans. Biographies. 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 Books on the occult. Here we go. Vampires. Witchcraft. Ghosts, Asian spirits, hmm, lycanthropes. Did you get in here? Oh, hi. How did you unlock the door? Oh, I see. Look, let's just drop all the pretense, okay? Obviously, I found the passageway. I know what's been going on in this little Alpinian love nest, and really, I couldn't care less. If you want to screw around with your employer, that's none of my business. But what I won't put up with is assisting the Schattenjäger crap. I gave up school to work on this stuff because I thought it was important. I'm doing the research that Gabriel wanted, and so help me, I'm going to be doing more than just research this time around. And I'm going to sit around and wait for him to call and give me permission. And if you don't like it, it's just too damn bad! Okay. Fine. You do the damn research. Damn it. Chapter 3 Lycanthropy The Ways of the Wolf There are two categories of werewolf cases false or lycanthropic disorder cases and genuine werewolf cases. Lycanthropic disorder. Lycanthropic disorder is a mental condition in which the subject, called a lycanthrope, believes that he or she is a werewolf. The subject does not actually change shape, but is nevertheless capable of being as dangerous as an actual werewolf. Most cases of supposed werewolfry are really the work of lycanthropic disorder victims. Man to beast. In real werewolves, a physical change to wolf form does occur. The change can be voluntary, at will, or can be forced by certain cycles of the moon and certain sounds, such as howling. 
There are two categories lycanthropic disorder, man to beast, werewolves, and immortality. Werewolves are immune from aging and from most physical diseases due to the constant regeneration of their physical tissue. They can therefore be virtually immortal. However, they can be killed by any wound that destroys the heart or the brain, or any form of death that causes brain or heart damage, such as hanging or other oxygen deprivation methods. The mind of a werewolf. Though primarily a true wolf while in wolf form, there is some proof that the werewolf retains enough knowledge to assist his killing. Recognition of victims, evasion of traps, and human cunning have all been seen on werewolf cases. Becoming a werewolf. There are several ways to become a werewolf. They include being given the power of shape-shifting through sorcery, being cursed by someone whom you have wronged in some way, called the Lyconia Curse, being bitten by a werewolf, and being born to a werewolf. In each case, the blood of the subject becomes tainted or cursed. Damnation. A person who becomes a werewolf against his will, birth, curse, or bite, is not completely damned until he tastes of human blood. Once he does, his soul is eternally damned and nothing may redeem him. Even without tasting of human blood, however, as long as the taint lays upon the immortal soul, it cannot enter into heaven and will remain chained to the mortal plane upon death. Werewolf Packs Like real wolves, Werewolves can live alone for many years, yet the instinct for a pack often leads them away from their secretive lifestyles into revealing their nature to a priest or close associate or converting another to a werewolf free for companionship. This is when the otherwise cagey werewolf opens himself to detection. Werewolf packs cause immense destruction. A pack consists of one werewolf who became a werewolf through sorcery, birth, or curse, in other words, his is the original tainted blood. This werewolf is called the Alpha Werewolf. The remaining werewolves in the pack are called Beta Werewolves because they became werewolves through the bite of the Alpha and carry the Alpha's tainted blood. Alpha and Beta Werewolves The relationship between Alpha and Beta Werewolves is a complex one. Once a subject is bitten by a werewolf, his or her life and death are doomed to the werewolf curse. The victim does, however, have some hope. As long as they themselves do not taste of human blood, the curse is reversible. If the alpha werewolf is killed through some action of the beta, the beta's curse is broken. It is important to note that whether the beta werewolf was bitten by the alpha werewolf himself or by another beta, it is the Alpha who must be destroyed, the source of the original tainted blood. It is also an interesting note that since Betas and Alphas share the same common blood, an Alpha cannot physically harm a Beta of his own bloodline by his own hand without inflicting the same injury upon himself. However, if a Beta is harmed or killed by another, it does not affect the Alpha. Symptoms of werewolf free. When hunting for a werewolf, it is important to remember that your biggest clues will come through your suspect's personalities. Becoming a werewolf is not transparent, no matter how the victim tries to hide it. The tainted subhuman blood greatly alters the subject's own mind and personality, even physical appearance. Therefore, look for symptoms in your human suspects that include increasing violence, increasing aggression, unprovoked rages, insomnia, restlessness, and other bizarre behavior. Unfortunately, over time, these symptoms can be brought under control, so do not rely upon them exclusively. A good example of this comes from a case reported by the ancient priesthood society Manos del Sol of Brazil. A rash of werewolf killings there was tracked to a high-ranking officer in the army. The society became aware of the man mainly through rumors of his violent behavior and changed personality. The case was successfully resolved with a man's capture. Manos del Sol. Men of the Sun? I wonder if they're like Schattenjägers, only Brazilian.
There's nothing else on werewolves in the occult section. There's nothing else. There's nothing else. There's nothing else. The Journal of Victor Ritter. Fourth of March, eighteen sixty four. To King Ludwig the Second, most gracious ruler of all Bavaria. I beg your forgiveness for my forthrightness in this letter, but I fear terribly for your majesty's safety and thus have no time for subtlety. I have heard that the one they call the Black Wolf is close to your highness. I have been investigating this man for reasons I cannot name at present, and I have learned that he is extremely dangerous and can only have the most dire of motives at heart in anything he pursues. I beg your highness only this. Please do not see this man alone, nor even with your servants, only to guard you. I promise you, all will be made clear very shortly when my investigation is complete. For now, only keep yourself safe. Your most grateful servant, Christian von Ritter, Schloss Ritter, Rittersburg, Bavaria. Numerous deaths at the hands of a marauding wolf being recorded in a neighboring county, I set out to see if I could determine the cause. There had been rumors of a werewolf, and the dark signs did indeed seem to be present. The deaths had all occurred within a 40-kilometer range of woods, and at the heart was the village of Alfeng. My assistant and I set a trap a short distance from the village. Though the beast had shown a propensity for human flesh, livestock had also been taken. It was a newling lamb we loosed in the thicket as a lure. We awaited downwind. For two nights, the lamb bleated to no purpose, and once we had to fend off a hungry fox. But at last, the beast himself took the bait. I might have missed him. The night was so dark, and the wolf himself was black. But my assistant saw the light of his eyes, and I heard the lamb's cries turn fearful. He had the poor dumb lamb by the throat when we sprang. He was swift and might have escaped, but his fatal mistake was to attack rather than run. My dagger struck through his chest and into his right lung. As I had agreed, we bound the wolf and tied shut its jaws. We brought it home to Rittersburg, still breathing, and turned it over to the magistrate. I pray for the man's unfortunate soul. May the law be swift and merciful. God be praised for aiding his servant. From his hand came the strength and wisdom to end the killing. Victor Ritter, Schottenager, 20 April 1750. I wonder if Christian Ritter's journal is here. Christian Ritter, born 10 January 1820, ordained a Schottenjäger, died 4 March 1864, the 4th of March. That's the date on the letter. Three January 1864. I am now in Prussia. The beast that brought me here has so far bested me. He is secretive and skillful. 
He has much self-control, unlike what I'd been led to expect. He seems to know almost before I do where and when I will be stalking him. He turns up his nose at my lures. Three more disappearances have occurred, and I'm no closer to learning his identity nor finding his lair. I can't even prove he took them. Not a single corpse has been found. March 3rd, 1864. I have had a break at last. The key was in front of me all the time. The black wolf, he so daringly calls himself for all to hear and none to truly see. It is worse than I could ever have suspected. He is not just a beast, but a monster. His jaws are already around some of the best throats in Europe. I return to Ritter's book tonight. I must warn those in danger and get someone to assist me. I am in over my head. I'm not sure what other case books would be relevant. I'm not sure what other case I suppose in the next Blake Backlash book, good old Fujitsu will be replaced by Hildegard. Who should I call? Hard at work, night. I'm not quite ready to write the big hero yet. I don't have anything to say to her right now. I wonder what kind of flowers these are. I wonder what kind of flowers these are. Hello again. Did you need something else? Remember that werewolf trial I asked you about? I have a date now. April 1750. Excellent. Let me go look. of this case when I was a boy, uh, but I always thought it was just a scary tale. Uh, it never thought to look in the archives. <laughs> it was there, all right. Uh, what did you want to know? Why did they bring the wolf to Rittersburg? I know the Schottenjager lived here, but why didn't he just... Kill it where he found it? I don't know. Let's see. 
Ah, yes. Uh, they wanted to know what man it was, uh, who it was. They brought it here so it would change back? Yes, exactly. Uh. What happened to the alleged werewolf? He was interrogated for two days. He confessed his guilt. Uh, the trial took place on the third day, and he was uh, sentenced to death by watering and the stake. Uh, he was given a final meal. He asked to see a confessor, and this was granted. Uh, he died at dawn the following day. They pulled off his limbs and burned him? Don't think harshly of us, miss. That was a long time ago. <laughs> Where was the werewolf kept while it was here? The dungeon. There's a dungeon in the Rat House basement. We don't use it anymore, of course. Haven't for many years. Did it change back? That's what it says. They put the wolf in a cell, and the next morning they found a man in there. A laborer from out of town uh, identified him as Baron von Raleck uh, from Alfing. Why did they want to find out who the werewolf was? I would guess, uh, yes, it says here that a group of villagers were sent to the werewolf's hometown once they learned its human identity. Why? <laughs> they thought there were more of them there? In those days, uh, the family of the identified werewolf would be in great danger. Many believed such curses were handed down through the bloodline. Was there anything else? I suppose not. Unless, is there any way I could see the dungeon? It would be my pleasure. Everything's been kept the way it was when the dungeon was in use. We show it off to tourists sometimes. Are you all right, miss? I'm fine. It's just that this place is so claustrophobic. I tell you what. Normally, this place is locked to keep out the village children. I'll leave it open. You can come and go as you please. Would you? Thank you so much. You are most welcome. Goodbye, and good luck. Bye. asked to see a confessor.
Von Rolick slept here. Herr Huber? Yes? Do you know anything about King Ludwig II? Of course. Everybody knows about Ludwig. He was the last true King Bavaria had. Why do you think I hang his portrait? Eh? Or that article on the wall? Eh? Do you know what that is? That is from the Munich newspaper the day after the king died. My great-grandfather saved it. It has been handed down to every first son. That is what Bavarians think of Ludwig. What was Ludwig like? Why is he so revered? Oh, he was a genius. He had a great mind, you know. He built castles, is what he did, and kept on building them until they killed him. Who killed him? Them, those politicians. <laughs> they said he was crazy, got a doctor to sign some papers. They arrested him. Then what happened? What do you think? They killed him. Oh, they said it was suicide, but me, I don't believe that. It was murder. Thanks. Bitte. So that's King Ludwig II of Bavaria. I have no idea what that says. Looks old, though. Ludwig II. He looks like he was in his 30s when this one was painted. I don't have anything to say to her right now.
Professor Barkley, this is Grace Nakamura. I'm calling from Germany. Germany? I thought you were in New Orleans. I was, but anyway, it's rather important or I wouldn't have bothered you. Do you know anything about King Ludwig II of Bavaria? <laughs> well, that's a hell of a thing to ask a man in the middle of the night. Uh, late 1800s, right? Yes. Uh, this isn't really my field, uh, but I, I think he was crazy or something. I wish I knew. Do you know anyone who specializes in German history? Yeah, I, I have a friend at the University of Berlin. Uh, I'll ring him. Uh, what's your number there? It's 4989-555-7878. Okay, I'll, I'll call you back if I remember this conversation in the morning, anyway. Great. Sorry again. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Hello again. Did you need something else? I had a thought while I was in the dungeon. Yes? You mentioned that Baron von Rolick was allowed to give a last confession. I suppose the priest was from St. George's? I suppose it was. Would there be a record of the last confession? It might tell us more about the Baron's life. Hmm. Good idea, young lady. Those records are in German, though, and Father Getz doesn't speak English. Do you think this would really help your Schattenjäger? I'm not sure. It couldn't hurt. All right. I'll write you a note. You give it to Father Getz, and he'll see if they have a record of the confession. If they do, you bring it back here to me, and I'll help you translate it, okay? That would be wonderful. Thank you so much. Certainly. You got my curiosity up too, you know. English. Nein, leider spreche ich nicht Englisch. All right. Danke. Bitte schön.
Mayor Habermas's note to Father Getz. Entschuldigen Sie bitte. Ja. Das hier ist von Herrn Habermas. Einen Moment bitte. Das ist für Sie. Dankeschön. Father Getz gave me this file, but I'll need help translating it. Hello again. Did you need something else? I have the church file. Excellent. Let me see it. What's this? <clears throat> this is in English. It's from a lawyer in Buenos Aires. It's addressed to St. Georg's Church as the date is 1764. What's it say? It's a request for information about the death of Baron Klaus von Rallick. It says it's for the family. I assume someone answered it. Hmm. Curious? What? The seal on the envelope. A wolf. Okay. <clears throat> the last confession. Mm -hmm. The Raleigh family uh, took the symbol of a black wolf uh, to represent their great skill at the hunt. Uh, let me see. Uh, Klaus von Raleigh says that he lived up to, to the family symbol too well. His friends nicknamed him the Black Wolf, uh, but he confessed it was more because he was prideful and uh, treated his villagers and women uh, very badly. He was much feared. The Baron confesses that uh, a life of sin brought the werewolf curse upon him. Ah, listen to this. A gypsy camp, uh, Hungarians, uh, came to Alfing one day. He wanted one of their young women. Uh, he had her brought to his castle by force, and there he... Raped her? Raped her, yes. He intended to release her, uh, but before he did, the girl killed herself. The next day, an old gypsy woman from the camp uh, cursed him, saying that he was to become the shape that his name and his crimes showed his heart to be. I see. Soon afterwards, her curse came about. Klaus von Raleck began to change, to run at night as wolf, to kill and eat human flesh. He begs forgiveness from God and from his wife and son. He says he welcomes his punishment, if only it will pay for his sins and save his family from further pain. Hmm. That is all that is written. Wow. Thank you. I'll uh, return this to Father Getz for you. Thank you. Good luck to you, young lady. Eh, and to your Schattenjäger.
All right, Knight, I've got your research. Just need somewhere to send it to. I don't have anything to say to her right now. I have Gabriel's package ready, but I need an address. I don't have anything to say to Herr Huber at the moment. I don't want to disturb him. I don't have anything to say right now. So this is where I've been sending Gabriel's fan. There's no one there. I found the items that Gabriel wanted. Did he tell you where to send your research? Yes. His lawyer's office in Munich. Can I get the address? Harald Übergrau, Marienplatz 21, München. Thanks.
there's no one there. Grüß Gott. Grüß Gott. Womit kann ich Ihnen dienen? Das Päckchen soll nach Muschen gehen. Sieben Mark fertig, bitte. My German isn't good enough for chit chat. Nein, danke. Okay. That's better. It's not exactly Gabriel's address, but it's a start. Scott, womit kann ich Ihnen dienen? Ich möchte es dann heute verschicken. 7,40 Mark, bitte. Dankeschön. Bitte sehr. That'll give him something to chew on. How, how are you? Uh, is this the castle of the shot and joggers here? Yes, but I'm... How exciting! Come along, Emil. <laughs> we are so thrilled to be here. Emil said it's the 1990s, for heaven's sake. The shot and joggers are probably long gone. Well, of course they aren't, I said. A family like that doesn't just dry up and blow away. The good Lord's put his mark on them. Who are you? I was just wondering the same thing, dear. Neither of you girls look like the heroic type, but who am I to judge? God chooses his soldiers, and who am I to put in my two cents? No, we're the, we're the Smiths from Merrimack, Pennsylvania. Uh, this is my wife, Merle. You can call me Emil. My husband. If I don't get right to the point, he'll get there for me. <laughs> it's nice to meet you both. Uh-huh. Well, how did you hear about the Schottenjägers? Oh, we're demonologists. Uh, my wife makes it her business to know a lot about a lot of different things. Uh, she's a regular, what you call, uh, occultist scholar, aren't you, Mother? That's right. Yeah. I read about you all when I was studying an old witch trial last spring, and I have been dying to get over here ever since. Well, so nice of you to stop by, but I'm afraid the Schottenjäger isn't here right now. I'll let him know you called, though. Oh, no. And I was so hoping to talk shop. We fighters of darkness are so rare these days. Don't I know it can't scare one up to save your soul. Uh, it's not your fault, Missy. I, I told Merle to call before he came. No, people just don't take you seriously unless you're standing right there. You know that, Em. Well, it's rather late. And if you're driving, you might as well, you know, oh, go out uh, right now. Don't worry about that. We're going to spend the night at the guest house in town. Stop by tomorrow, won't you, dear? You and I can exchange stories at least. We'll see. Well, come on, Merle. These ladies are tired. I think we've got to go. Uh, and, but, Anne. Yeah. Come on, now. let's go. Let, good night, ladies. Good night. Good night. <gasps> What's wrong? It's not your fault. This just happens, ma'am. I'm sorry. I'll get her some water. Give me your hand. Oh. I see. I see danger. Someone close to you is in danger. 
Gabriel? I see something. Something like a wolf. A black wolf. Um, uh, uh, now don't you worry, miss. Uh, my Merle is going to be all right. This just happens sometimes, that's all. It just, it just happens. Come on, Merle. Let's go. Come on. What happened? I don't know. 